everyone, this is Pavlina from Pavlina's Kids Place. I'm on location with NASCAR race car driver Ryan Newman. Hello. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. Okay, and um, you're a popular uh, NASCAR race car driver and you also do a lot of really cool things. Um, and you have a Ryan Newman Foundation, which I think is really cool. Um, so you have a lot of dogs that you rescued from a shelter. Um, did you did you always love animals and want to help them? Uh, I always had an animal, I always had a dog in particular when I was a kid and when uh, I met my future wife she had a dog so uh, when I moved to North Carolina I didn't have an animal I met my wife she had a dog and now we have six animals so we've um, we've a We've adopted six animals basically in our family and we've also helped a lot of other families uh, with other animals that we've fostered and through our uh, Ryan Newman Foundation efforts. Okay, that's good. I've got three dogs, so. Um, what makes you happy when, you, when you're with your um, Ryan Newman Foundation and do you have any future goals? Our biggest goal is to control the overpopulation of animals. In, um, in North America, there are six to, eight, six to eight million animals each year that go into shelters, and of those, half of them are euthanized. So basically, half of the animals are getting killed because of the overpopulation. And what we're trying to do with our foundation is to try to minimize and reduce, and futurely, uh, long-term-wise, um, eliminate the, uh, the, the animals that are being killed through spaying and neutering and through adopting, so that people are actually uh, spending their money when they want an animal to adopt an animal who will have been spayed or neutered and therefore not spending eight eight hundred to a thousand dollars or even four hundred dollars for that matter going out and buying a, a puppy a puppy mill dog as we say mm -hmm. okay and um, the book Pit Roads Pets which you actually signed for me um, is a great book that features NASCAR racers and their pets and the money raised goes towards um, your foundation and the dogs look like they love racing, is that true? <laughs> well, actually, we have two of our dogs here at, the, at Daytona Speed Weeks this week, so um, we got uh, two of our six, and um, we have some that like the, the noise in the racing more than others, and, and some of them like people, and some of them like to be with their other family members, but um, either way, the, it's good to have them around because they definitely have unconditional love for us and many people. That's good. Um, and when you're not racing, what do you like to do? I like fishing, I like hunting, I like the outdoors. Anything outdoors is, is something that I really enjoy. And uh, whether it's the uh, opportunity to go out fishing and catch a fish or the act of uh, just fishing and, and, and sitting on the water and, and uh, trying to catch a fish is, is fun for me. Okay, good. And I recently went to Biloxi, Mississippi, and I saw the damage of Hurricane Katrina because they were still rebuilding it. Um, and you did a lot of work in that area. Are you still working in that area and helping animals? My wife actually went down there with a few of our employees and uh, what she did was they went and distributed food um, with the help of the Dodge dealership at the time and delivered food to uh, different sites for people to be able to feed their animals because uh, there was such devastation there was no stores open so um, to go to those you know uh, public sites and pick up dog food as well as other supplies so that they could live and have their and keep their animals was was uh, her major major focus um, she also was uh, in part of uh, rescuing animals and bringing back bringing them back up to North Carolina so that they could be realigned with their their parents in the future okay that's good and what can kids do to help Oh, the biggest thing kids can do to help is to volunteer at your local shelter, uh, to go walk dogs and help clean up stalls and things like that. You get to mix and mingle with the animals. You get the opportunity to learn what uh, you know what vets do and, and the things that happen in animal shelters, and just volunteer some of your time to, to, to share your love for the animals. Yes, on my radio show, I also, um, at the end of each show, I talk about telling your parents to get you, um, if it's okay, to get a, a shelter animal instead of actually from a breeder. So, okay. Well, thank you for talking to me. Well, thank you for talking to me.